IntelliPath. Today we are going to talk about DevOps job. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. So, our today's agenda is what is DevOps, benefit of DevOps, programming languages used in DevOps, skills and qualification, DevOps job, the variety of DevOps job. The first one is DevOps evangelist, automation architecture, software developer or tester, experience assurance, security engineer, utility technology player and release manager so our today's first agenda is what is devops 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 is a set of cultural concepts and technologies that improves an organization capacity to provide high velocity applications and services changing and enhancing products at a quicker rate then traditional software development and infrastructure management method. The customer experience is at the heart of all we do at a company. The companies are seeking for an experienced DevOps enthusiast to assist design functioning system that improves customer. The average salary income of a DevOps engineer in India is around 6 lakhs with a salary range of 4 lakhs to 14 lakhs. Our second agenda for today's session is Benefit of DevOps. The first benefit of DevOps is maximize efficiency with automation. A successful DevOps program necessitates a culture or mindset shift that foster increased cooperation among many teams' products engineering, security, IT, operations, and so on, as well as automation meet objectives. A successful DevOps programmer, transformation technique concentrate on structure change that foster collaborations. Second, optimize the entire business. It derives business to optimize for the complete system, not just IT silos, in order to benefit the overall business. To put in another way, be more adaptable and data-driven in order to better match with consumer and company demands. Coming to the third benefit of DevOps, improves speed and stability of software development and deployment. Top performance DevOps companies excel in software development, deployment speed and reliability, as well as ensuring that their product or service is available to end consumer, which is a major operation necessities. Coming to our second agenda, programming languages that a DevOps enthusiast must know. The first one is Python, the second is JavaScript, third one is Ruby, and the fourth one comes to Perl. So, now coming to our third agenda, skills and qualification. The first qualification is a bachelor degree in computer science, engineering or related subject is required. DevOps engineer or comparable software engineer experience, working knowledge of Git or Git workflows, working understanding of database and SQL is required as well as a problem solving approach, team spread that works together. Coming to the fourth agenda of today's session roles and responsibilities the first one goes to new development of tools and infrastructure need to build and set up second understanding and communicating the demand of stakeholders to developer new method to enhance and automate the development and release process testing and inspecting other people code as well as accessing the result assuring the safety and security of system in the faces of cyber threats checking and producing software upgrades and fixes for technical issues, working with software developers and engineers to ensure that the development follows defined procedure and produces the desired result, project planning and participation in project management decisions. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee and it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job.
Now let's continue with the session. So the most important part of today's session that is DevOps job. So the first DevOps uh, job is the DevOps evangelist. This individual is responsible for promoting DevOps benefit by finding and qualifying the business gains that arise from the increased agility that DevOps provides. The DevOps evangelist promotes buy-in from development and operational teams, identifies essential role to support DevOps delivery methodologies and ensure that IT employees are taught and empowered to implement those changes as a change agent. Coming to the second job, that is automation architecture. This function is critical since DevOps relies primarily on automated systems, automation architecture architecture also known as integration specialist access create and implement continuous deployment method which maintains high availability on production and pre-production system coming to the third job that is software developer or tester the devops organization revolves around the software developers. The title of software developers may not change under DevOps, but the new function of software developers, testers, significantly expand the area of tasks. Not only are the developers in charge of translating new requirements into code, but also of unit testing, deployment, and continuous monitoring. They don't merely write code to specification and hand it over to the QA team. To avoid quality degradation, this transaction frequently necessitate a move to more automated testing. The issue is that teams still believe they can be agile while performing manual Annual testing. Coming to the fourth job that a DevOps engineer has is experience assurance professional. Talking about this, while the quality assurance QA job is frequently a part of software development, DevOps requires a new sort of control. QA tester are no longer required. Instead, access specialists are needed to ensure that all new features and functionalities are delivered with the end user experience in mind. Currently, QA jobs are expected to test functionalities, but the role must grow to incorporate user experience testing. Coming to the fifth job that is security engineer, system security is typically an afterthought in traditional waterfall development. It's a non-functional need that commonly put on at the end of a system development, similar to quality assurance. Coming to the sixth one, that is a utility technology player. Traditional IT operations and system administrator specialists are concerned with maintaining server operationals because the most prevalent cause of service interruption is likely to be an app running on those servers. Administrator implement very strict control on what is permitted to execute on their priced assist. Traditional developers have been head down coders with no involvement in post production systems, requiring significant QA in staging environment, sustainable handover and operation documents, and extremely occasional release. Coming to the last release manager, the goal is same whether the function is referred to as release manager. Release engineer or product stability manage. Release managers strive to address the management and coordination of the product from development to production. Typically, they focus on technical issues and roadblocks that a typical project manager would avoid. To enable continuous delivery, release manager monitor the coordination, integration and flow of development, testing and deployment. They are not just concerned with deploying, but also with sustaining the end-to-end -end application delivery tool chain experience. They will be in charge of distributing product update, diagnosis product issue, and building customer-centric integration. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee and it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job. Now let's continue with the session.